because this movie is gonna take me away for 10 days. A few minutes later. We got a little problem. What? I'm gonna just be real with you. You're now booked and busy. I've always been busy. What's up, y'all? It's Brian Keith, and I'm back with another video. Today, we're going to talk about The Real Housewives of Atlanta, season 15, episode 14. And this was like, you know, it was an okay episode. Um, I feel like a filler episode, just giving us more information on the progression of everybody's storylines. Um, I gotta go shopping real quick and then go out and get some cocktails with some friends. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into the video. Yeah, let me check my check my shit real quick. Hotter than the fire. Come out my flame and lips. You wanna play with me? You can't play in me. On the playground, bitch, you can't play with me. Got it. One is securing the bag. Alright, so basically, Drew is coming up with a mental health retreat um, and springboarding by her, um, her sister. Her sister is the one that, you know, had a mental health, you know, mishap as they say and something that they wanted to you know address and give everybody like a reset because like you know the season has been stressful for like candy drew um sheree like they have all been through a lot this season so i feel like you know they want like this mental health reset right so um i did notice like maybe the reason why ralph didn't want drew's sister to come is because she stays for a long period of time because i don't know the time frame but she's still there it's none of my business but uh, you know whatever so sonya and ross are over here talking about you know the future this that and the third and all of a sudden she pulls out like oh yeah you know i got some notes this all this it's real it's real <laughs> <laughs> And he looks at the little pregnancy test. It was like, oh, she pregnant. So Sonya, you know, reveals that she is pregnant and you know, they are so happy. But now that she's pregnant, what about the sister? So she go downstairs and the family there's over here, um, like they're talking about like, you know, just have a casual conversation. She gathers all the family together. They turn around, like acting like they're looking at something. And it's on the back of the t-shirt. It says we're and then pregnant. <laughs> A sister and the dad, they got it right away. They were like, oh my gosh. And the mom's like, what's going on? What? What? She's pregnant. And then they freak out. And the sister basically tells her right then. They're like, yeah, we're moving out. Just a heads up. Yeah. So they're moving out. And so now Sonya's going to have to find a babysitter, an assistant, a dry cleaner, somebody to wash their clothes, somebody to clean the house, somebody to cook, somebody to do her hair. It's a lot of stuff that Sonya's going to have to find because that was her sister. Right? We see Drew and Ralph, they're going on a date night bowling. And you know, Drew opens up about all the stuff that she has going on, that she's working on her music. She's over here trying to reconnect with her sister. She is, um, you know, in Todd's movie. She just closed the deal with Todd. Ralph asks like, okay, so are you okay? You know, cause she's been going through ups and downs. They both have in the relationships. And you know, um, she's like, yeah, you know, I've been going through counseling, but you're not. I feel like one thing that Ralph and Drew do is the fact that they jab each other a lot. They always throwing jabs and in in a relationship i don't need i was in a relationship like that where um my partner always tried to make me feel like i was stupid or dumb and me i'm a very like dominant person like when i'm at work i know what i'm doing i'm the boss boo 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 so when i'm in a relationship it's like it feels good to take a back seat but you don't have to demean me and make me feel like i'm stupid and i feel like sometimes ralph does make drew seem like she is dumb as hell and it's it's so subtle but they get it but they know it's too little for them just to blow up on it but it's like i feel like they're over here holding stuff in and holding it in and holding it in and holding it in they both are contributors of the stuff that's going on drew think it's all him he thinks it's all her no it's both of them because they both play little games especially at the retreat we're going to talk about it so you know ralph feels like you know the counseling was basically hurting his um relationship he felt like you know I'm better now that I'm in counseling. The reason why you feel like you're better is because y'all haven't had deep conversations. Y'all don't go deep. Y'all talk about surface level. And like when Drew said, when we're doing music, this was the best time in our in their you know relationship because their mind is not on what's really going on. The mind is on other temporary things, right? So you know it's all about taking accountability. They both cannot take accountability, and that's just what it is, right? Drew tells Ralph, um, yeah, you know, so I'm gonna be away for 10 days shooting um, Todd's movie. In the movie that I'm doing with Todd. <laughs> because this movie is gonna take me away for 10 days. And you know, instead of him saying congratulations, oh, you know, I'm gonna support you, we're gonna figure it out, whatever. I mean, you don't have to give a definite answer, but at least some type of supporting words would have been nice, but he was like. We got a little problem. What? I'm gonna just be real with you. You're now booked and busy. 
I've always been busy. Oh! <laughs> because he's like, yeah, you know, now you got a busy schedule, but I've always been booked and busy. Okay, what was the relevance of that? It's shady. I'm just like, I don't think she said you weren't busy. She's just giving you the schedule that you probably have to go and step up a little bit to help out with the kids. I don't see where what she said was wrong. Like, even though she, I, obviously I feel like she know that you booked and busy, so you can't sit up and help her. She letting you know, like, look, this is an opportunity. I'm gonna be away. I'm just giving you a heads up. Like when I, when he went to Las Vegas, did he give her a heads up he was leaving, or did he leave and say, "Girl, I'm gone. I'm in Vegas." Right? Do, and she do, probably don't even know what he did. He probably was balls deep. So yeah, we transport over to Kenya's house, and she's hosting Candy and Shamia. Um, Shamia makes her debut this season because you know Shamia is in Todd's movie as well, and there was she was at the table read. Kenya tells the girls like, you know, you know, I'm thinking about having another kid, and Candy's like, okay, but with who? <coughs> Mind you, Shamia and Candy share the same surrogate, and it's funny because the lady that the surrogate is actually um friends with my mom. So I was like, that's so funny how you know. A full circle moment because you know she's from North Carolina High Point um and my, my mom lives in Greensboro so yeah small circle the girls basically show concern and Candy's just like okay so are you going to have to ask for permission are you going to have to like what what does this look like with him and you know basically he, using his seed um to have a baby so she was like oh no we signed over papers he'd have no rights this and the third which is great but i mean at the end of the day you just never know with mark they're still trying to get divorced it's almost five years in it's just stupid um so basically um they bring up um that you know sheree um sheree has her birthday party and like none of them were invited and martel basically didn't pay for the dinner the birthday dinner which is fifteen hundred dollars what's fifteen hundred dollars and don't get me wrong i don't feel like he's obligated to pay but if it was my husband and you know i had i was in their status i mean i would have paid it was just like, okay whatever i'm paying for everybody cool i mean it, it was what it was um and she was like yeah you know he was asking all the ladies to cash up this and the third i think that is like I'm not gonna say it's tacky. I feel we all have done it where someone put their card down, we all just cash out them later. Now with me and my friends, somebody put their card down, we cash out them before we even get up from the table. Cause ain't nobody about to play that, right? So it's just one of those things where I feel like he's not obligated to pay anything, but if it's for Sheree, let's say he orchestrated this, he picked out the restaurant, he put everything together. He is like the host of the restaurant for Sheree, or not the host of the dinner for Sheree. I would think that, you know, it would just already be comped, but it was what it was. Cause this whole situation happened during the after show where Sheree's over here defending Martel down, talk about, oh, but he's not obligated to pay. He not do this, he didn't do that. He paid for my meal, but your man could pay for your meal. Why would your man want to, it was just like crazy. I'm just like Sheree. Sonya's just saying, look, it was last minute. I came, I thought it was gonna be paid pay for. It was what it was. I didn't need him to pay for it. I just thought it was already comp. It was what it was. I got where Sonya was coming from. I just thought it was crazy that Sheree was trying to defend Martel like through hell and high water, right? Um, so Drew and Candy, you know, they are in a solid place. They're very copacetic. Um, they meet at the table read and you know, they're over here hugging and they, they, I feel like for me, they tabled the situation because Candy still don't like the fact that Drew called her a liar and Drew don't like the fact that Candy's saying she's lying. <laughs> so, you know, Todd's having this table read, you know, everybody's doing what they do. And you know, I'm still trying to figure out where is the movie going to be streamed on? Like Tubi, I won't say Tubi, maybe it's gonna be Netflix. I don't know, but congratulations to Todd, right? It's the day of the mental health retreat and all the girls show up. Drew, she shows up, she's there and she see her husband walk in and you know, she's like, oh my God, hey hub, hubby or hey, I'm Ralph. But she goes to hug Ross. Hey, what's happening? Good to see you. Good to see you too. Hey, <laughs> hey, and I noticed that um, Ralph saw it and Ralph just went past her and hugged everybody else and he even said it like oh I thought she was gonna come and hug me she over here hugged you I thought she was just gonna come and hug me since so she called me so what he did was which is petty but Drew was petty too he hugged everybody else and Drew is making it a point to let everybody know like oh my husband didn't hug me oh he didn't hug me oh, oh I'm sitting right here he just ignored me yeah he just got here I've been here 
Ralph. Ralph literally went around the room and hugged everyone except for her. Wait for a hug, I haven't seen him. He's been out all day. And I feel like Drew made the situation worse because now you're broadcasting it to everybody in the group that everybody's seeing the cracks in your marriage and everybody's seeing that there is an issue. Because if it was me, I would assume he already hugged, hugged you or whatever have you. So I would have not said anything. But once you broadcast and they're like, oh, he didn't hug me. Oh, he just skipped over me. Then I'm like, ooh, <laughs> meh, see. Drew and her sister, you know, they have their um, their moment in front of everybody. They um, talk about, you know, Drew's sister's um, story and how she had a, a mental health mishap. I started having anxiety attacks and panic attacks. And I called 911 so many times that they ended up transferring me to a psychiatric hospital. I they do these little programs. Um, so there's like a whole itinerary and then everybody starts doing drop it with Drew. They go to the mental health studio. People's getting very emotional because, you know, they needed this type of break and slow down. Um, but, you know, they all go um, downstairs. They go eat lunch and the court case get brought up where Drew is over here being sued for a thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars. We don't know which one. The paperwork says a thousand, but Drew's saying ten thousand. Who knows? What do you feel would be the proper justice for you? Honestly, just for her to go away, get thrown out, you know, but I think countersuing is a strong statement. But Drew, she said she countersued and she got to wait for 30 days for a verdict. But Kenya brings up the dinner to Sheree and, you know, she's like, yeah, you know, we didn't get invited. But um, Sheree was like, oh, I only invited people that i know for like 30 plus years. It's about the dinner because I saw you posting on social media. <laughs> um, so I had some of my girlfriends that I've known for over 30 years. So Candace, like, okay, so you invited people you only known for 30 plus years. So Courtney, Monietta, Courtney, Marlo, and Sanya, question mark, right? So Sherelle tell, tells Candy, like, at the end of the day, you don't show up for the group event, so I knew you won't go show up anyway. That's true. Candy can't even show up for the group, so I know she's not about to show up for me. <laughs> Cynthia brings up the split in the divide, clear divide. It's been clear divide. I mean, anybody can see it. So Monietta's, you know, the extra. She brings up like the collusion, you let again. And my whole thing with your Mayetta is like when she like tries to make the point or try to make like this big moment, she always missed the mark with these subtle details that change the whole entire story. So Mayetta throws a little shade at Courtney and she's just like, oh yeah, you know, Courtney's gonna fight for her life trying to defend Sheree and try to prove to Sheree that she's her friend. So Courtney um, is like having banter back and forth with Mayetta and Mayetta says Court to Drew, She's like, yeah, and then Courtney over here talking about um, call you, Drew, a bitch. And Drew's like, what? And Courtney's like, I didn't say that. You got the wrong person. I didn't say that. She's like, what you did? But you did. You did. They showed a flashback. Courtney basically called Sanya a bitch. But it was like, you bitch. It was just like, bitch, I can't believe what you, this one she did. Like, it wasn't even pointed at Drew. But, I mean, Mayetta, this is the third time that she made a mishap with subtle details and made something bigger than what it needed to be. You bring it back information that is always wrong. So if you're gonna bring it back, please just bring it back correctly. Okay. Everyone goes outside and they're basically, you know, wrapping up the uh, retreat and they're taking pictures and Sonya's over here have like, I'm pregnant on her shirt, but she's in the front so nobody can see it. So she's like, everybody, check it out, 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 check it out. I want people like, oh my God, you're pregnant, blah, 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 blah. Everybody's just like, girl, you could just been like, girl, I'm pregnant, oh my God, ooh, ooh, ooh. But we did the whole spectacle. This is the third time she did a spectacle, child. <laughs> so we end the episode with Drew and um, doing her therapy session with Dr. Ken. And Drew's marriage is a mess. It's been a mess since the first episode of season, what, 13? Is that your way of saying that you're believing that my husband doesn't care about how I feel? Right? Drew's marriage has been a mess. And, you know, I... I feel for Drew at times, but I do feel like Drew is a contributing factor in her marriage where it's like the disillusion of what's going on between her and Ralph is between both of them. They both are active participants. Now, Drew feels like, I feel like with Drew, she's very much upfront and shady, but I feel like with Ralph, he's very, very sneaky. And I feel like, you know, Ralph might be over here somewhere balls deep, tearing somebody up, child. Um, so she is definitely contemplating divorce and, you know, Ultimately, we know that's what it was. They over here um, speed racing down to the um, the courthouse. So it was what it was. Like I feel for Drew, but she deserves better. The way that he treated her in the beginning of last season was trash. And I thought it would be coming then. But I mean, I'm still going to be on Drew's side when it comes between her and Ralph. So let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.